I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. The reading for Sunday, January 3rd, the second Sunday after Christmas, is from John, the first chapter, verses 1 through 18. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came for testimony to bear witness to the light, that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness to the light. The true light that enlightens every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him. Yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people received him not. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory and glory as of the only Son of, from the Father. John bore witness to him and cried, this was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks before me, for he was before me. And from his fullness we have we all received grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only Son who is in the bosom of the Father. He has made him known. Word of the Lord. And the Word became flesh and lived among us. To be in the flesh is to be alive and fully present. To be in the flesh allows one to press the flesh, that is, to shake hands, to engage in a heartfelt and personable manner. To walk in the flesh means to live one's life even in the face of calamities and challenges. For the Word to take on human flesh means that God chooses the fullest form of self-revelation in order to relate most effectively to human beings. God does not love us from afar, but is interested in the fleshiness of the world. God shares our pain and despair, our joy and wonder, and invites us to be concerned for and interested in how this world and our neighbors fare. The ELCA tagline is, God's work, our hands. We are emboldened by the good news that in Jesus we are saved and given life. The Holy Spirit empowers us to be present in love, forgiveness, and grace to all we encounter this day. Let us pray. Loving God, thank you for taking on flesh and walking among us. May we do your will by caring for this world and our neighbors. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.